Oh, good morning. We've got a run. I don't know the distance because I'm not sure about the energy, but we've got a run at 502 this morning because we're getting out of town by 7. Oh, so I'm going to try to run outside. I've got sweatbands and hats and everything else to try to keep the heat and the sweat out of my face for as long as possible. Uh, woke up feeling okay, not great, but um, this will be, remember, this will be our first run the entire week. So let's go and knock it out and see how far we get. Well, I got about five and a half miles in. And my heart rate got way, way too high. So I actually had to resort to walking. And I <laughs> I've got a little under two miles left, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. Oh, <clears throat> I ran to the river, got to the river, and died. So that was a little bit of an overexertion. <clears throat> so I want to get to walking. I'll uh, check back in with you when I finish, if not before, depending on how I feel. I'm trying to get back as quickly as I can. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> I still don't remember where we're going. Uh, surf Beach. Surf Beach, that's right. It, because it's in English, I keep forgetting what it's called. We're going to Surf Beach. We want to swim as much as we can today. Santa Marta, we just picked up my Aunt Cindy who has finished all of her dental work and we are going to stop at a coffee shop real quick before we hit the road and continue on. We love Santa Marta. I know. <laughs> I, this is one of my favorite cities we've been I to. I know, it is. Yeah. This one in Cartagena, yeah. Probably gonna be my last one Valdez of the trip. I think so. And it's not very good. <laughs> I do not care for one like this. It's uh, basically an ice, uh, sorry, a hot coffee that they just put ice in.
All right, we are stopped at a place called Casa Grande. We were here a couple years ago, and I remember it's a great place to hang out and swim and enjoy some good drinks. So this is Casa Grande. We are almost all the way at our hostel, but this is where we're gonna spend a little time this afternoon. Oh, Mari, <laughs> you haven't been in the vlog in a while. <laughs> do you remember being here two years ago? I do. Not yet. I know we were, but at this particular place, I gotta get out to the water here. We laid under a very specific palm tree for like hours, <laughs> but I will I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> I remember this little hut here. Do you really? Mm -hmm. We had a lot of drinks from there. Do you remember now? Okay, yes, yes. I, it took me a little while, you're right. I had to orient myself because I was thinking that the place we came to, this place, but in my mind, that it was further off the road. Yeah, and you're thinking of Surf Beach. I was thinking, yeah, exactly. I was thinking yeah, they've changed their chairs. I don't recognize my palm tree anymore, but we got comfy and just laid there for hours. It was great. I think I have a photo of you with a cocoa. You do, a you do, yeah. yeah. You're just hanging out. Oh, it's been too long since I've seen you, Ocean. Yes, it has been. All right, this is where we're gonna set up. Look how nice and shady this is. We got lots of chairs. I think this might have been our tree from before. It, it's, I know all palm trees look the same, but we spent so many hours laying on the ground looking at the palm tree. I kind of feel like it was this one. <laughs> this is uh, Casa Grande. <laughs> and there is like almost nobody else here. Isn't that awesome? I am so sad that we don't have a GoPro anymore because we're going to go out in the water as soon as all the sunscreen sets up. I really hate that I can't take the vlog out into the beach. It's so nice. How gorgeous. How beautiful! What have you got? Where'd that come from? What is that? Is it supposed to have a flag on it? No, no, I don't know if it did before. It's a big old piece of bamboo. <laughs> I know. Let's get a nice picture. Hang on. Smile! <laughs> this is us trying to get a thumbnail, guys. There's nowhere I can really set up a time lapse. So I'm gonna have to uh, show everybody the ocean and then. This is what I love about Surf Beach, um, or this place too, Casa Grande. Look at this, how amazing is it? We have the jungle, the palm trees, the ocean and the beautiful waves, and the gorgeous mountains in the background. I mean, to me, that is the best of all of the worlds all at one time. This is what I've never forgotten about Colombia from when we were here in January, two years ago. It's having the beach, the jungle, and the mountains all at the same time. It's just, I think it's just incredible. I'm so sad about not having a GoPro to take the vlog out in the water. <laughs> this being our last weekend, I am too on that. Yeah. Right Marshall and Cindy are already out there. I'm just waiting on the zinc to set up. <laughs> I like to give it a good 20 minutes uh, before I get in. Wow. Guys, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you swimming with us. We sure had a good time at the beginning of this Columbia trip taking you in the water everywhere we got to go, but yep. we'll have to have that GoPro looked at when we get back to the States. Whew, those waves were rough. They beat us yes, up. Yes, they sure did. Oh, it felt so good and refreshing. Oh, and it totally did. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about our issues because I think that's all we've talked about all week. I'm feeling tons and tons better. I'm actually starving. You help my nausea, yes. Yeah, we got a little car sick on the way up here, but that's all past. And we're gonna go see if they maybe have juice or hugo or something. We're trying to baby, limonata, it, no. baby it back into eating. But I am starving and the thought of food right now is exciting. So oh, that's good. What has this been? A full seven days now? Maybe Today, things are yeah, turned in the corner. Days. They gave us these tickets for uh, I think it's forty thousand pesos. Yes. It was fifty thousand pesos per person to get into this place. So it's kinda like free money. We're gonna go see what yeah. we can spend it on that we know we can keep down. I remember this hut so well, and I remember this cow. I have a picture of it from two years ago. I don't know, I was so fascinated by it that you can see they burnt a lot of candles on this cow. We're gonna have plenty of credits because each hugo was only 10,000 pesos, and we have 80,000 to spare. Wait, what? No, oh. I, I, that's great. <laughs> and uh, they have food too. I'm super excited because I'm really hungry. I want to see how this hugo goes down. Okay, that's what I was going to see. Is, is, if that's how okay, does the hugo go down? And then we'll talk about some food. 
I'm so excited about food. I haven't been this excited about food in days. <laughs> we had a long conversation about how cool the inside of this hut is two years ago, and I remember that so well. It's so trippy to watch it spin. All right, taste test here. I've got a mango juice and he's got a lemonade and a cocoa on the counter. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh man, yours is better. Yours is better. You have the mangoes really good. Um, this is really light. Yeah, um, I think it's going to be a perfect little Saturday. I have missed our Jungle Mountain Beach weekend. I know. Me too. So good, and it's sitting on my stomach so well. I am so happy, so excited. How lopsided my sunglasses are! <laughs> mm -hmm. It went down so good, and I'm so happy. I had to get a lemonade de coco, though. Theirs is better. I don't know if it's just been a long time or what, but this is like it's hitting the spot. Is it the isn't best it? lemonade de coco we've ever had? Or no. has it just been a while? Well, you're you're, you're just Italian delusional now. The lemonade de coco at the Italian restaurant. In Cartagena, yes. so the limonada de coco to end. That was a limonada de milkshake. <laughs> that was a milkshake. I don't think they really went see nice and <laughs> I don't think they did either. We had way too many of those that day. Ah. It feels so nice to be out here. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's the sand under my feet. So I know. Warm. It feels so good. I know. So that's sitting okay, huh? You good? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm chugging this one too. I chugged it up. I need calories so bad. I know you do. I chugged through that mango. Now I'm chugging this. <clears throat> Mari says we might have lost two kilos each. I don't hope it's not that Are you severe. Serious? Yeah. Why does she think that we lost that much? That's I don't know. It's like four pounds. <laughs> All right, it's been like an hour or so, and we decided to give some food a try. <laughs> this is arroz de la casa, mm -hmm. which is rice with shrimp in it. It looks and absolutely tamarind. smells really good, and some patacones. Oh, that looks like pesto in it. Does it taste like pesto? No. It tastes good. It's very, it's very mild. Right. It's good though. That's probably what we I need. Think it'll be good. Yeah, some mild good and some carbs. Probably. For sure. Dry rice, okay. That yeah. is definitely pesto and it is delicious. So, uh, the mark to beat, you just saw, I believe. We gotta stand behind the tree. It's like baseball, right? Is, is this the baseball sport? Okay. You say you did a baseball school? Kind of, yes. <laughs> Go, baby! Yeah, I'm probably going In the Olympic sports, I don't recall. No, no, don't you don't play baseball in the Olympics. Where's Marshall's mark? Is it? Is it this? Uh, smile. I feel great. That pesto rice was amazing and it's sitting very well. I'm so happy. I have energy now. I feel good. You're over here eating a panacone. I feel good. <laughs> Do you? Do you feel good too? <laughs> Look at my stupid hair. The shadow my silly hair is making. Hang on. 
Yeah, that's a lot. Got the cutest boo in the world. No, me. <laughs> it's me. Not your Noah's. It's me. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Clouds. Clouds and mountains and jungles and palm trees and sand and waves. I I think this is about the most beautiful beach in the world. Do you remember in Tyrona? And I'm pretty sure we did talk about this on the vlog. Okay. Pretty sure we had the GoPro and I'm pretty sure we were vlogging when we were all talking about our favorite beaches yes. all around the world. Yes. Pretty sure we did vlog that. And I said my, one of my favorite beaches, probably my favorite beach I've ever seen, was that beach in Colombia where the mountains, which at the time had snow on them, were covered in jungle, met the ocean and sand and palm trees. This yes. is the beach this I was talking it. about in that Tyrona video, and I didn't think we were going to make it back here on this Columbia trip, but I'm so glad that we did. The first time we were here, Marshall and I and another friend of ours actually took um, surfboards. No, that wasn't here, was it? That was this beach we're walking to. Okay, yeah, the beach we're walking to, that's right. Surf it's beach. rough, though. It was rough water, as you can see. Um, so the guy got out in the middle of the ocean was trying to help us up and stay up and ride them in. It was fun though. Surf beach. Yeah, surf beach. That's where we're Okay. I'm not going to sing to you, but there is a song in my favorite Christmas movie, Em and Otter's Jug Band Christmas, Jim Henson, that sings a song about when the river meets the sea. And I believe we have reached it. She, um... Oh, I forgot his mom's name, but Emmett's mother sings it at the talent contest. Oh, that movie is so cool. <laughs> I wonder if anybody who will ever see this movie has seen that. I don't know. But there is a uh, documentary out on Disney Plus called Idea Man about Jim Henson's life. And I uh, have not got to see it yet. But anyway, when I walked up over the little bank there and I saw that, I was like, first thing that I thought of was that song from Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Ain't no hole in the washtub. So there it is, guys. I think we're going to go get in the river for a little while. I've seen a lot of rivers in Colombia so far. Uh huh. This is the only one I know I can get in. That we've been told it's okay. Yeah, everyone's like, can't get in that trash. Uh -huh. Can't get in that because the current's too fast. This one is a swimming hole. I like that in the river. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, Marshall just come and sit right down. I just think that's phenomenal. I mean, look, these two mountains right here. Yeah, they're not huge, but they're bigger than hills. There's another one behind them you can't really probably see. But the clouds are obscuring the top of it. Yeah, the clouds are. You can see how high that mountain is. I know. And then palm trees just bringing this river right up to the ocean. Like, I just don't know how it could get I know. And right there's the ocean. Got a nice gentle breeze coming off the ocean. You can tell people like this spot, but everybody is the, the lake vibe. I it mean, is. It's like, it is kind of like the lake and vibe. And a river and a beach and a sand and a palm tree. Like a Two years ago, right over Julie's uh, right shoulder, we there, yeah, there's actually a part a parking lot. I'm gonna use that in loose quotations, but parking over there. And when we traveled in, we parked there and actually waded through this river to get to the beach and the ocean. Yeah. Pretty. And this is the thing I have been talking pretty about amazing. when I describe Colombia to my friends or to family that yeah. have never been here. This is what I've been talking about for two and a half years, and I, I don't know. I still think this might be. You move from shore and palm Andres trees was to like out of this world, Tyrona, Minka, out of this world. But something about this is uh -huh. to me everything that I ever want and need: a lake, a river, a beach, a surfing laying out sunshine it's oh warm. it's pretty this water has cold spots 
So if you need to get cold, you just move around a little bit. And then if you get too cold, you just move around and find a hot spot. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's it's true. Awesome. That's true. It's, so awesome. it's a lot less crowded than it was the last time we were here. That, and it's like, you're in the jungle, baby. Yep. <laughs> This is my happy, one of my happy places. One of my favorite places I've ever been in the world. Yeah, it's um, it's quite amazing for sure. If I could just live freely, I could live like here. I mean, 100%. 100%. This is, I don't think, I don't know if I'd ever go anywhere. I don't know if I'd ever leave. But you wouldn't need, you have it all, way. right? Yeah, exactly. Get some UV, I'll go that way. If I want to just float and read a book, I'll go over there. Yeah, you want some shade? We've got palm Everything trees. Everything I could ever want is right here. And they got great limonada de cocoa. They got great limonada de cocoa. And in January, they will get snow on some of these mountain caps. Oh, yeah. There was snow. Yeah, it's yeah, over here. Yeah, in the, we were here before. Uh, again, it's... A, the cloud. I know, we didn't go up there, but the, the clouds, if, if it was a little clearer today, you would be able to see the mountain range there um, but it wouldn't have snow this time of year but yes see si. si, <laughs> oh and for those of you who are worrying about how close these mangroves are to the water and the uh, uh, live animals here um, yeah i don't think we have to worry about any we're, we're no, thinking about manis. yeah <laughs> thinking about alligators what we have over here if the cows are willing to get this close to the water, I think we're we're pretty safe. Wait, you guys. Say you saw some cows? There's a bunch of cows right over there. They have a no fence. Way. I didn't see them. Yeah. Didn't see them. Don't you remember when we were walking through there were cows two years ago? No, I don't remember cows. <laughs> I learned the word for cow the other day. Just okay. Did, when I was walking around, I'm gonna get so much hate when that video comes out. Oh no. Because I was trying to pronounce everything and I'm sure I'm gonna get corrected on everything, but the word for cow is vaca. Vaca? Vaca. 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 V? <laughs> yeah, but they say it more like a B. Okay. Vaca. Sort of. Sort of. Okay. I have the gringo accent. Don't, That's okay. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> That's okay. We're learning. Gringa. Gringa. So beautiful. back and check on Mari. I think I forgot to tell the vlog by the way. The reason she's not here is she's still having a lot of pain from her wisdom tooth surgery. So she's just napping and reading a book. But uh, this is such a magical place and we had such a good time. sure this uh, kind of peninsular thing sticking out that you can see, we're pretty sure that is the northeast edge of Tyrona National Park. So if you can remember from our Tyrona vlogs, that's uh, somewhere in the same park as where we were, although we were a little further west and then continued to hike even further west. Mercedes camper here. I want to show you what's on the back of it. I'm assuming these are all stickers from places they've been, but 
they would have had to ship it because there's no way to drive from the United States down here to Colombia. Colombia is right there. <laughs> and of course the other countries too here I'm recognizing. You, you can't just drive this to all these places so they've had to have had this thing shipped unless they're just putting stickers here from places that they have been. But I think that is so so super cool. License tag says Brazil, but I didn't mean to imply I think they are from the U.S. I'm just saying, they must have shipped this camper if it's actually been to all these places. <laughs> these things are cool. I would love to know if they're edible, but I'm not going to try to find out by eating one. Yeah, Mari would know. I know. Got a bed. It looks like a bed upstairs. It's not a bed. That's a table. A bench and a table. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's what that's the construction we saw. They're building like a I don't know, eco hotel maybe. This is such a cool spot. It's called Casa Grande, if anyone is looking for it. Near Surf Beach. Isn't that gorgeous right there? Wow, just a natural beach with a few things for us to enjoy made out of natural materials. Absolutely stunning. Walkway, welcome and reception. Up that way. I love the feathered serpent, Quetzalcoatl. Shout out to Graham Hancock. So to stay our last weekend at a place that's called Quetzal Dorado. Perfect. Wow, guys, this view though. I gotta go check in, it means I gotta give them my photo ID. Some gift, huh? I'm not sure. No, mango. Oh, mango. Yeah. 
Seven to ten for breakfast. Okay. Mango. Pure mango. I was expecting it to be alcoholic. I'm so glad. I wonder what's in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Just on mango. Gracias. Oh, wow. wow. It, it is very dark in here. There, is that the light? Ha, ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. I love this place. <laughs> How cute! It's the biggest shower we've had in an eco hotel yet. And it comes with shower gel and shampoo. Yeah, basically, I just put myself there every day. No, no particular reason. It's a lot more intricate. You see how the palm starts right here in the middle and then you're breaking to the end. That one that we were under today wasn't braided at all. And as you can see, it was falling apart in places. But Colombian artisans are famous worldwide for this type of work. It's beautiful. That looks like an older one over the bathroom door. Yeah, it might be. Look, hey, sometimes they're just, you know, with less effort because it's inside. It's not like it's ever going to get rained on. It's more decor yeah. decorative than really. This place really is beautiful, Mary. You did an awesome job picking us. Oh, there's AC! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, the road's there. I checked that. 100% before Love this bed. Have you seen the driftwood this is made of? Right, without AC. Have you seen the driftwood they made this bed from? That yeah. is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this nice little porch balcony we have. With a hammock and this humongous fern. A wind catcher. No, that's not what this is called. What is this called? Not a wind catcher. Wind, wind chime. chime. Wind chime. <laughs> It's a different type of sound for a wind chime. It's much quieter than the ones yeah. I'm used to. Are they little bitty gourds? I think so. Oh, it mm -hmm. looks like it to me. They so small. They're dry fruits from the dried plants. It's a healthy ass fern. Right? <laughs> this thing is huge. Look it up here. I'm it. It's it's like grease. Okay. Do you see we have a table and chairs out here all to ourselves? Exactly. <laughs> okay, Kelly. <laughs> Puerto Coado, was that Mexico or Peru? Mexico. Mexico. The Mayans. Oh, the are out there. They're We're going to get there. I'm glad I had some calories and hydration today. <laughs> this would have been tough yesterday, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, as wimpy as we were feeling. My jaw is beating. Your jaw is hurting. Yeah. Oh, the river's right there. Whew. Wow. Wow, what a view. I wonder if that's part of this hostel also, or a different one. I think it's a different one. I think we lost Cindy. I don't think she followed us up. catch my breath there for a second. <laughs> See some river over here? Wow. How gorgeous. They've made all this out of asphalt. You see? Yeah, I guess to help drainage with Maybe. rain. Let's keep going. There's a few more stairs. This must be where, oh, this is where the massages are. If you can make it up here. <laughs> yeah, you have to cool yourself down before you get a massage. Our chiropractor keeps telling me, Michael and I need to go get massages. Oh my goodness.
There she is. I bet she's looking for us. Sandy. Oh, she's Don't worry. I bet you just go down to the healthy ass fern. Yeah. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Is that this hostel or a different one? We could just walk to that river. You know? That's pretty basic. You just cross the road here? Yeah. Right there's the road. You see that truck coming through? Yeah, yeah. I'd go to the river. It's like a sandy, like you can walk mm -hmm. Beautiful. We are so hot and sweaty <laughs> from the hike up here for the view. Mm -hmm. We gotta hike all the way back down we'll because we wanna go get in the pool. <laughs> No, no it, 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 you get more points. It's sort of like when you throw okay. It's ring toss, babe. Uh, 300 points. Well, Do you want to try? Do you want to try? Sure. It's a little too close for the pool playing, isn't it? I don't, yeah, I don't know how far you're supposed to be apart. That's how I did. I just kind of tossed them like flat on my hand. Yeah. Oh, you got oh. 50. 100. Yeah, got <laughs> I got 300. Did. How did I win this? How did I win a sport well, thing? first one to 500. <laughs> No, I think I've had enough. We're waiting on Marshall to shower so we can shower in one <laughs> since we all have get to share. Yeah, and get ready for dinner. But um, this is such a nice little place. I freaking love this, it. Yeah, uh, this one might be my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, definitely favorite hostel, I think. Yeah. The place we stayed in San Andreas was uh, was nice. It was a little apartment. So I don't know but if I should include that. I'm really, well, I'm into the whole eco hotel thing where they just build the hotel right into nature and utilize this nature. This yeah. You'd yeah. have to compare this to like where we stayed in Minka. And uh, I, you know, it would never get hot here as shady as this is and as cool and breezy as this is. This is, yeah, this is pretty great. Yeah. Sure. Just chilling out here in the hammock. Since we only have one bathroom, we're gonna take showers one after the other. And uh, then go see what they might have here for dinner. I'm actually not hungry, but I, there was such a success with lunch and it's been so long since we ate. I think yeah. it'd be a good idea to maybe try a little something for dinner and just see, see how we do with it. You know, I could just lay here and look at these roofs, these thatch roofs. They, they're just never ending interesting to me. Yeah, just following each I little. Like those. Oh. Yeah, following each little piece of the palm as it weaves its way through. I just think these are just absolute works of art. They're incredible. Yeah, they really are. What's the name of this particular room? Uh, is that an O? I can't tell. It's real paper. Rio. Rio Rio Piedra. I can't tell if that's an O. Huh. Rio, like river, or I don't know what Ria is. I have to ask Mari to translate that. It is Rio Pe Piedra. <laughs> Before I took my shower, I swore that was Ria, but it's Rio. 
Rio Piedra is the exact room we're in if anybody wants to know. And uh, it is 6.30 and super dark. They have lights here, of course, but I just feel like it's weird how the sun has been setting later and later in Barranquilla, but I mean, this phone makes it look a lot lighter than it really is. It's not nearly this bright in real life, but there's the sunset colors that we forgot to show you. <laughs> we all went in to take a shower and came out and we're surprised how fast it got dark. Go check out the dinner menu. I'm hoping we can at least split something. We could use it. Look at this super cool painting on their uh, erosion concrete, which is what they built this Eco Hell Hotel into. Can you see how cool that is? Totally disguises this huge concrete wall. Wow, and all the little indigenous lights. That's that cute. Yeah, that's gorgeous. <coughs> Did you pick a entree yet? Yeah. So Jules is gonna try another club sandwich. I I'll did probably, so well yesterday. Yeah, I'll probably eat half of that and then we will share this carabino bowl. Yeah. Um, can you tell them everything that's in it? Um, shrimp, cream mm -hmm. salsa, and yes. coconut. Pimenton, I forgot what that is again, I just asked. Rice and coconut patacones and avocado. That sounds perfect to me. Sounds like a bunch of stuff we love. It's a mango and avocado. Okay, another hugo de mango. Mm-hmm, better than the first one this morning? I don't know what I'm gonna miss the most about Colombia. Uh-huh. This is definitely top five. Yeah, I would agree. All the juices, just kind of in general. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, really? Okay. Awesome. This is a chicken sandwich I ordered, but uh -huh. we're splitting I'm gonna have to it, back so it out. Hang on, let me. <laughs> Goodness. Holy crap! I can't believe how big this is. Grilled now chicken sandwich. Okay. I'm gonna have the half. I'm gonna. Have <laughs> uh huh. You're gonna have a fourth. Half. Half of your food. <laughs> okay. Oh, so your bowl is like a deconstructed bowl. No, I was thinking it was going to be constructed, but it still looks great. Oh, that Avocado, does look really good with the coconut shrimps. Coconut rice, shrimp. You seem to be getting the breast. Try it. I mean, okay. More Wait, shrimp and rice. A lot of silly. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your beautiful teeth. Shrimp and rice. Give a little shrimp, we try. It's a coconut deconstructed rice. bowl. But I don't know what kind of shrimp. It's in some, it like a in tomato. Mm -hmm. It was under the bowls. Yeah, it was under the bowls. So it was like the prawn something, something? I think so. I think so, Mark. Looks really good. We're over here asking Chat GPT to do things for us. I just asked him to write me a pattern to crochet a mochila bag. And I said, I don't know what it, I want it to look like. I want you to surprise me. He spit me out a pattern and said, I can't wait to see how you like it. And Marshall, show me the picture, Marshall. He just uh, asked him to... He asked chat for a picture of four adults at a table, a driftwood table in the jungle. And this is what he came up with. I mean, it doesn't really look like any of us, but look at the table and the chairs. And but the it's little, also not too far I mean, off. honestly, it, it could be, it could straight up be in this room right now. It looks, I mean, come on. It could totally be us. <laughs> starting to feel like we know chat. A little too well. Maybe he knows us too well. He's starting to have emotional responses and it's kind of getting me in the field. Yeah, you got some emojis. I did. Now what are we doing? I was asking it if it could write music. Sure, do you mean lyrics? Do you mean melody? And I said, melody. Uh, si, si, senor. Si. Okay, can you do I have some more details? What emotion would you like to evoke? What type of style? What chord progression? Uh -huh. And I said, arrange something for piano. My favorite classical artist is Eric Satie. So maybe in some sort of French classical. And I said, the mood is a, um, a, a contemplative Sunday morning. Wow, you, you went there. Okay. Yes. And I asked Julie's favorite key, and she said A flat A flat minor, minor and D flat major are my two favorite keys. And so we've actually got, what, 16, 16 bars, 16, 20, 20 bars. Show me. Or show the vlog. Oh, that way might help a little better. I, I don't have the kind of ear that can decide already what this sounds like. So I'm very curious. If I had a piano, I could sit here and know, kind of okay. kick it out. But uh, so it says the I haven't seen a piano in two and a half months. I know. It says the concept should capture the thoughtful, serene mood you're aiming for. How does this sound to you? Would you like any further adjustments or developments? <laughs> Tell him you want a preview. Can you can you give me an electronic version of what it would sound like? Oh, I don't know if it can do that. Come on, Chet. 
We don't call you artificial intelligence for nothing. Or to generate vision like a PowerPoint slide or Excel or Word. Or just can you script, can you tab it out on some lines and staff? He's analyzing. Hang on, analyzing. Let's catch Mary's shot here. If she strikes for solid. This, this is the longest he's ever been delayed in answering me. My question what? is, can he tab it out at least where you can make a song out of it? Oh, I'm sorry, the blog. I'm so sorry. That is way too bright. We can't show the blog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your phone is lit up like a... Sorry. It seems that there was an issue generating the audio preview due to a library error. I'll fix it and try again. And it's it's trying again immediately. If he can't, ask him if he can send you um, sheet music for his little song he wrote on lines and stuff. we've got an electronic preview, but we have to get out. We have to get into a place quiet. Why? Oh, so we, cause we can actually playing. play it. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's go play it. Um, let's go over here. Maybe it's quiet over here. There's a lot of bugs over this, here. This is worth the twenty dollars. Exactly. We could be paying twenty bucks a month for Chat no, GPT, but we're just using the free version. Okay. Come on, let's see what he came up with. Turn your volume up. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a like like. Maybe we can use this as a music for your Halloween video. <laughs> chat, chat, my friend. Well, I mean, it's not. I guess it can't be piano. I guess it's. Can just you a, save that file so I can insert it in the vlog right here? This does not remind me of a thoughtful Sunday morning. <laughs> I thought they'd be like chords and background I backup. Too. Um, if that is saveable, download that and shoot it is, that to me. It is downloadable for yeah, sure. Yeah, I want that. Seconds. <laughs> that was terrible. That was awful. <laughs> yeah. Let me know how it sounds. I don't think you want to know. <laughs> Sorry, chat. You really let us down on this one, buddy. And while we were wasting time being disappointed by chat, Mari got three balls in a row. And we missed it. We did. Unnecessary. Yeah. Hey, Guyby. <laughs> This ivy is fake. <laughs> it's pretty though. How about here? Did you just throw those? I did. The problem is we don't you don't have really enough distance. Oh, throw, yeah, these, these games are all kind of crowded here together. Yeah. We were trying to play the frog throwing game, and I kept getting um, asked to move by the pool people. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> we all get one dart and one shot. We have to shoot from way over here? Yeah, just one throw. One throw. Okay. one throw, but do we have to hit the board? That can't hit the board from all the way over here. Me either, so I can't get closer than that. <gasps> okay, nobody so throw while she's over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, one point does the person that crosses the board. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked that wasn't me. <laughs> Should I throw or wait? Did the pool did the pool game get arrested just for this? When Marshall saw the darts, he's like, "Yep." There they go, climbing on stuff again. Does she get a rethrow, or is that like a disqualify? I I agree. What would the Olympics do? It fell behind the tree. Then you guys still up. She can still beat the. You go, and then I'll hand you our vlog. Okay. It can definitely be thrown. Oh, that part. <laughs> it can definitely be thrown. You have proven that it can be done. All right. Where are you? I can't even see. You're on the board. Okay. Take our friends and don't swim head them. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're not, you're <laughs> oh my gosh, she hit the frog game. <laughs> I mean, a good, a good one. <laughs> I hit 
I know. Watch out, man. Watch out. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is a good way for somebody to lose an eye. There, there you go. No, I put it on the table over here. We're going to do again. Let's have a do over. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Me next? Sure. What? They're not all the same. Huh. Huh. Oh, not again. But on, on the right side, you get how you aim. You got to aim because both sides are doing the same thing. I'm consistent. You can count on me. I am consistent. You haven't thrown yet. Let me no, know. not yet. That's the only one left. Wait, there's one here, but I think it's also. Marshall got on that time, right? Yeah, Marshall's not, on the board. Not very center, but it's better than the board. He got 14, I think. It's just there. Much of the... no, that <laughs> I think we have a step. Wait, 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 did you just get wow. that? I, got, I did that one. You just did that one from way over there? Wow, good wow, for you. Are really stuck in the wood. Yeah, but maybe we should stop before we actually do some damage to their property. <laughs> I think so. Pool game resumes. This reminds me of Friends. Remember Chandler and Joey had foosball, but they yes. they didn't have a kitchen table. <laughs> it's just soccer, right? Yeah. Or did you play each other? I don't know how this works. Isn't that who do I? Do you have to play like both people at the same time? Yeah. One. Yeah. You hit my ball. You got both my last balls in. <laughs> <laughs> See guys, when I'm telling you that I have good luck, my last two balls, Marsha got it in for me and he said it was like hard to hit. <laughs> I just really nicked it and it went like all across the field. I don't like this. Look, I can't, I can't get it with this thing. What are you supposed to do now? Hit it with the one you can't hit it with. I can't, look. You can, you slide it other dude forward. This guy won't come nice. from. Slide him forward, there you go. In your own Nice. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> Not that way. Right. Why does he go backwards? Because maybe you okay. want to pass this ball from this guy to this guy, guy and then he like and, the ball and then hit him. Yeah. Maybe yeah, this guy this guy couldn't get to it. No, but that right, guy but this guy, yeah. But the only way he could hit it was in no. No, you no, could, you, you could rotate like completely. Throw the ball and then Look. <laughs> you oh. it's not complete. You're like, I can't get this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, that is a that was a learning curve. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Learning that's cliff. Cheating, that's both hands, put both hands. Yeah. Oh, Not in the same one, in different ones. You want more players. But, but nobody can reach the ball. Go for it, go for it. Come on, yes, yes. Get more players in. Come on. Come on, Jules. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Damn it! Come on, Julie! There you go! There you go! Go! Hard! Yes! Yes! Come on! One more! Yes! Not like no. that! Go! 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 Hard! 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 No! Oh my god! You are your worst enemy! It's like watching Panama play. <laughs> Oh, no! No! Oh. No! <laughs> so close, you almost did it for me. No! <laughs> what am I doing now? Hang on. Please. <laughs> Can somebody help Referee. me? Referee. Listen, love. Yeah, we're here. Ready? Drop yeah. it in. Three, two, get ready for the whole uh -huh. middle one. You want the middle one? Yeah, okay. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay, you got one point, you win, guys. You're not, <laughs> no, you're done? Okay. <laughs> Anybody else wants to play, be my guest. 
Mari says in Colombia, they don't actually play with the eight ball. It's just a solid color ball that now that she got all her stripes in, you she doesn't actually have to put the eight ball in. No, it's like the eight ball doesn't work as an eight ball. As in, if you hit it well, in the middle of the game, like in, it doesn't ruin. Like, you're yeah, you don't lose. Ball, you the first and, ball and ball I think oh, really? you don't have to do that at the end. Like, you don't have to do it at the end? Like, yeah. The rules are not like... She thought she won because she got all her solids in, and then Marshall's like, nope, nope, nope. You still gotta get the eight ball. If you get this try, I think it's better for you. Yeah. Let me step out of the way here. I only have two miles more than you. <laughs> After the dart thing, let me step aside. <laughs> so you would have won. She would have won because she got all the stripes in, but... Version of the situation. You say that like that's the only rule change. We haven't started the game at all. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> Arm got tired holding the phone up to film, but yes, Mari did win. She did get the eight ball. I would have to say she won twice. She won her way and she won the American way. Yeah. I'm ready to go brush my teeth and lay down and watch some YouTube. Okay. It's a little after nine and I am done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we never really say goodnight and goodbye to the vlog. This is a great time to say goodnight, everybody. See you tomorrow in another adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to start signing off like, um, who was it we saw a vlog the other day where they're like, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. Oh, yeah. That who was, was Nate. that? Nate, PMM, Paging yeah. Mr. Mario. I thought that was so cute. I'm going to borrow that for this once, and I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed our vlog. We enjoyed making Very it for you. enjoyed made it, making it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye.